everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your instructor Joy. Let me first play a tune for you. This was an extra from Vinyavsky's Polonaise second one. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about apostacato. It's one of those advanced technique, bow technique. As soon as you um, get a little more advanced, a lot of fancy repertoires, a lot of virtuosic repertoires have such uh, fancy bow techniques such, um, called apostacato. Uh, thank you very much for your continued support. I really, really appreciate in this challenging time. I hope all of you and your loved ones are staying well and healthy. Now, let's analyze about the how the apostacato works. I made several videos about apostacato, but there, there are some people who do their own way, but generally speaking, there are three ways of doing apostacato. The first one, which I normally introduce to um, uh, students who are very new to, to the apostacato, because it's easy. So the first one is you start tremolo, and then while you tremolo, you push your forearm upwards. So while you keep your doing tremolo, you just push upwards, and that's the easiest way of starting. Yeah, again, you do tremolo, and then you push upwards, but you do not stop tremolo, you continue tremolo, and then you just go up. That's one way. Second way is a lot of values end up sticking with it, which is with a stiff upper arm. So make sure... Um, here, some people overdo it with the shoulder being tense. You have to make sure the shoulder stays absolutely relaxed. Just the upper arm is a little stiff, but yet the rest not as stiff as the upper arm. So you just keep upper arm a little stiff and raise it a bit higher than usual. And you go a multiple upper staccato with a little more heavier bow weight. Yeah, it's... You can, say there's no, you can see that there's no release of the pressure. Continuous bow pressure being on. Last one is using a pinching motion of the index. So you make pinching each upper uh, staccato. The uh, earlier, the previous two ones are more, more like you're working long upper uh, stroke and therefore you're just allowing several upper staccato happening. This one is you're applying individual upper staccato by pinching your index finger and releasing the bow pressure. Sorry. Yeah. So if I may exaggerate, it's something like this motion you just do. Yeah, that's another one. Now, um, a lot of anis end up sticking to one type of um, upper staccato and often we like, mm, this family can't know how to do a post but it doesn't sound as ideal as beautiful. The ideal way, uh, so let's start, what's wrong with this type of uh, a post -acato? The first one with a, starting from tremolo, even though it's easy to do, it's very unclear. There's no clear note. It, the note does not pop up, it's more like a little, a little mushed. And sometimes in a large hole with a little uh, larger reverberance, a lot of echo going on, it can, it doesn't always get delivered, this kind of apostata. It's not clear enough, it's not articulated enough. The second version with a stiff arm, it is very articulated. Because it almost has an attack for each stroke. The only downside of this one is not necessarily a very beautiful sound because the bow is constantly pressed. Um, the last one, with a pinching finger, this has a beautiful sound because you release the bow pressure and it has a tactus, it speaks articulated and it sounds nice. However, because you are working on individual upper staccato, you're limited of how fast you can do. You can get away, maybe this speed, but if you want to do really fast, it's a little hard to apply without, without losing its control. The best combination, what I find in my studio, is the combination be between two. 
Not the tremolo. Tremolo from tremolo uh, transferring to oppo stacker is good to start just so that you know how it feels like it. Once you've done that, then combine with a little stiff arm and with a little pinching motion releasing. That way you can get the speed that you can get from the stiff arm oppo staccato. But yet you're releasing that one with a little of a finger pinching. So still, there is a still stiff arm happening but the bow pressure getting released, therefore you have a beautiful apostacato. Now, apostacato is one of those that's very, very difficult um, stroke. Um, often we do not know how to release attention, both left and right arm. I find the best way of practicing is, sure, first you have to practice slowly, understanding the motion that happens. happens. But the real problem lies when um, when we have to play in performance tempo, fast tempo. In order to do that, you practice it as a group, as a chunk. So let's start with the two and then relax. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed and the elbow height is correct and another two and again. And then you go all the way, not too much to the frog because it becomes harder, but about this much you can try to do that group of two. Then try to see if we can do group of four. And then rest, make sure you relax. And then relax. And relax. On and on like that. And you can also do the same thing while applying the string crossings. And then elbow higher, next string. Elbow higher, next string. On and on like that. So make sure whichever uh, technique you're working on, when you're working on challenging techniques, always we have to break it down. Work one small particle at a time instead of working big chunk at once. Yeah? Thank you very much for watching. I wish you all happy and fun practicing. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.